The Streamlab is a really interesting place because we are able to divert water from the Maple River and just put it back. And because we use cinder blocks and it looks like Legos, we call this kind of Lego land for adults or, or, uh, or scientists and some people call it uh, a scientific uh, water park. Being able to kind of design streams and you know, um, build them from scratch. It's been a lot of fun. The Stream Lab is a, a place that we can do aquatic ecology. We take about six million liters of, of river water a day and redirect it up here on the concrete pad and it flows back in the river. Most Stream Labs have a fixed design. And here, we use cinder blocks and plastics and things like wood or gutters, or gutters for your house and we make streams out of them and it makes it really flexible for us. So I'm just really trying to mimic um, a river to see how um, predators are altering um, different aspects of a native species in the lake. For my project, it's really important to have running water, flowing water, which is what I have, um, because the crayfish release chemical cues, um, which are just their odors that the snails can smell. Since I have flowing water, the water's kind of pushing that odor out and it's constantly kind of circulating new water in. Um, and that is very similar to what happens in a natural system. I decided to look at the effects of road salt and nitrate, which is a common um, form of nitrogen that runs off in cities and see if there are certain levels of road salt that algal communities can withstand without changing it to be more harmful algae. Or the nutrients are going to diffuse outside the pores and this is going to be pretty similar as a rocky bottom of a stream. There was the Toledo water crisis a few years ago where there were harmful algal blooms and it made the water undrinkable. I wanted to see if the road salt is affecting the water crises that might happen. And it's just really neat to see the diversity of people, diversity of projects, and diversity of scales of the stuff we do out here at the Stream Lab. <laughs>